Oh, he's tossing grenades. He's cooking them beforehand, too. <laughs> All right, we are back to some more Valiant Hearts. I've been really enjoying this here thus far. I know there's been like a very big delay between releases, mainly because there was like a ton of new games I had to record videos for, so I've been super busy. But I finally got some free time now that those are done that I was like, well, let's go back and do a bit more Valiant Hearts. And this guy is apparently keeping a very close eye on the situation here. I, I need to get there. Oh, I could send the dog there. Okay. He wouldn't shoot the dog, would he? Don't you dare shoot the dog! Yeah. All right. What do I need this grenade for? Well, that's a very good question. Oh, okay. I imagine we probably... We probably cannot get through this little barricade here, so we gotta blow this up, is what I'm thinking, right? When he's not looking, preferably. Good idea, puppers. No, Doggo, Doggo, I know, I know, but you gotta, you gotta keep away. There's a man over there with a Gatlin gun of some kind. Okay, we, we made it through. Okay, we're, we're safe now. We're heading towards medical facilities. That's probably where the new girl, I don't know her name just yet. I think they mentioned it, but I forgot because it was a couple of days ago and I have the memory of a, well, a bird, believe it or not. Okay, we are now in some trenches here. Oh, boy. I see also a wire cutter. Ah! Oh. Now we go. Uh, Doggo? Go in there for whatever reason. Okay, Doggo's over there now. Oh. Oh! Oh, Doggo needs to get the wire cutter for us, is what I'm thinking. So I have to lead him back and then command him from over here to get the wire cutter. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Woohoo. Alright. I don't think they... They really noticed a dog. Then again, the dog was part of the German side when we got him, right? So, you know, they just think he's probably one of them. There he goes, perfect. Now, let me get this, buddy. Thank you, good boy. Yeah, you're, you're the best boy of all time. Now we cut this down. Go, doggo. Yeah, I know, he's adorable. He's so adorable. So adorable I can sneak up behind you and give you a mild concussion. Good boy. Take his weapon. Oh, you foolish man. Oh, this guy doesn't seem to be in a good state at all. Hey, buddy. I don't know how to... S okay, here we go. What am I doing? Okay. You right? What? What? Digging? You need to dig? Huh? I guess we just have to move him to get Doggo to go over there, huh? Or, no, Doggo is, um... <gasps> oh! TNT, huh, boy? Okay. Oh, we're gonna blow, we're gonna blow some puppies up. Not literally. Alright, we are prepped for quite the explosion here. Doesn't matter if he's looking, whatever. Do it. Yeah! Oh, see, now they can't see. Perfect. Let's go, buddy. We're making some nice progress here. I'm surprised I'm not getting stuck in a lot of these, but they're fairly simple thus far. Uh, this one is intriguing. Something tells me we're gonna probably have to use this as... something to hide behind, maybe? Anything for God to, dog to interact with? No. Oh, you know what? Bring it to ourselves, and is it when it goes back, we have to move alongside of it. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Look at that. <laughs> I'm surprised that guy can't tell there's something fishy going on over there, like, oh. You go over there, you, you'll meet me the other way, right? Ah. <laughs> Where did he go? It can't be that he spots behind that barricade right there, could he? He just disappeared. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. Whatever happens to these guys, they deserve it. So that apparently is where we're headed. We do need a key. I see the key. The return of this guy. Well, here we need a lever. We could also take that doorway to who knows where. You might be guarding whatever is needed for that. Alright, let's see first what happens if I go through here. 
This did seem like diggable territory. And we got some champagne. I don't think that walking up and handing to him is a good idea, right? Yeah, you know what? Maybe we just need to knock him out. A good old wine bottle to the head normally. I can't believe you've done this. I'm surprised this man is still alive. <laughs> hey, everybody. That's what's up. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Luckily for you, you're near the little hospital doctor area, so you should be fine. Though they'll get you up and ready pretty soon. Oh my god. That's a lot of ammunitions there. But we have our lever, so now we should be able to bring Basket down and get Doggo to us. Goes through the hole, he grabs the key. We're scot free. Alright, Doggo, you know what to do, right? Into the. Yep, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Open it up. We have made it. I think. Uh, okay. This we smash down. I mean, I thought we were scot free. I have to move this. Uh, okay. Well, this is as far as I can move this back. So we probably just made an opening maybe through there to go to the left-hand side and come out. Yeah, at least for the dog, maybe. I thought we were finally here. Still got more to go. Mm, well, we need a crank of some kind or maybe the, oh, the, the wheel thing that we saw here. That would lead to the other place that we opened up. Oh, there's the, the crank thing. Hmm. It could hook the dog. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go up, and then it goes left, and it drops the dog with a crank. The dog grabs the crank, and then we lift them back up. <laughs> or, Falcon, how about you use the hook to grab the crank and not have to move the dog around like he's some sort of claw machine prize. I guess you're right, that could work too. So now, Doggo, you, lower it down. I mean, honestly, had the dog just grabbed it, it would accomplish the same thing, really. But okay, that's fine. As you can see, it's causing a meal quite a bit of, um, power to carry it, so the dog just couldn't do it himself. That makes, that makes sense. This is a cute dog, you after him. Alright. Perfect. Let's go, puppers. Aren't you glad that your master, your new master anyway, is so smart? Anything back over here? No. Sorry, I wasn't trying to hit you. I was thinking if I could dig behind you. There we are. Closer to our goal. There's more boys here. Ooh, do we get to launch some heavy artillery ourselves? Yes, we do. Can I just shoot the Zeppelin? <laughs> shoot the Zeppelin, problem solved, right? They can't escape. Oh, come on. You see how much we could have saved? We could have gotten rid of two birds with one stone right now. Oh, Geronimo, baby. You see? Had they just allowed me to shoot the Zeppelin, they would not have gotten away. Baron von Dorf had escaped again, but Emil had still managed to find medicine for Freddy. Thank you, my friend. They were quickly back on the road again. Their journey would take them to Rans, where they would at last pick up the trail of the elusive Baron and his Zeppelin. I'm telling you, all you had to do was shoot the Zeppelin. What is this? Oh boy. See how many lives we could have probably saved? Freddy, where are you going? Well, we've lost Freddy. Okay. Well, we are doggo, doggo free. Unfortunately, there's a hole there, so we might get him back. But we have to do a little bit of dodging here. It does seem. Gotta go now. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Aye, aye. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep running. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Me and you both, buddy. Oh. 
Freddy's a hothead. Someone get this hothead out of here. You're looking for a man with a cap of some kind? You're looking for your kids? Yes. I could imagine that. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> I, I was trying to save the man and I killed myself in the process here. I think we might need to send Doggo to drag him out instead. Yeah. Go for it, Doggo. Good boy. Oh, he dropped us a lever, too. Alright. Doggers, you know what to do? Good boy. SOS? Yeah, yeah, I actually got one here. Let me see about trying to get you down here. Or at least getting that up to you. Perfect. Alright. Doggos, you go up. Oh, no, it's not gonna be for Doggo. Hmm. I think we might need the crank itself to lower that down. What if we bring this down first? Ah, so you bring it down first and it stays. See, now I'm thinking that it's gonna retract back up. Like the other things that have retracted back in the past. So now, it should be good. And I guess we can now give- no, no, come here, come here, come here. What? Oh, get over here! Here, take that. There you go. Alright, perfect. I have to bring it down first. Now... Up you go, buddy. There you go. So now you give that over there to the man, and he should hopefully take care of the rest there. Perfect. That should be for that elevator there. Oh, fine, you, you, you big lazy bum. Even the dog's gonna do that for you, huh? Well, technically speaking, if he moved and cranked it himself, he wouldn't be able to go down. I, I guess you have a point, sure. What? Bring me up, uppers. Any collectibles for us up here? Oh, this is probably where the child's at, probably, huh? No. I mean, it's small enough for her to fit. We got another collectible to the first one. Mm. Well? We're still missing the kid. So, you're missing the person with the cap, and you're missing, what? presumably, your daughter. What? Doggo seems to be digging around over here. Oh, uh, another collectible. Cool. Ah! Okay, we can come in here. Oh, I heard... I heard somebody crying. Although, that could be the girl that we saw. Oh no, that's the daughter. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, you have... There's also wire cutters there, too. I'm gonna pull this towards us. If it gets beyond the door, you should be able to get back to your parents. Yeah, yeah. So that got her back to her parents more than likely. The thing is that we're stuck. Because we can't get over this, so we have to now proceed down this side. Okay. Oh, and the guy with the cap. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, buddy. Oh. I'm... I'm trying to put it all together. So we got a ladder over here. And another place to search. Could be another item. Yeah. Perfect. Missing two. So, definitely go up. And then after we go up, let's see. Dog is gonna stay over here. Unless he suddenly grows hands. That'd be kind of terrifying, honestly. So... Oh, you know what? The, the wire cutter. That's what we need. Can we push it through and over? Yeah. We could've just pushed it over the entire time. I guess we couldn't, or at least we didn't think about it beforehand because the girl was there, so technically speaking, I'd be pushing her into the fire. Alright, cut this down. Doggo, you might want to be careful there. There it is. Perfect. Off he goes to his, um, lady. And that's everybody rescued, so that should be... ...all the people we needed to move that thing to follow Freddy into the... ...cathedral, it does seem. Everybody's a happy family. Yep. Hi, everybody. Oh, you know what? We gotta, we gotta, yeah, yeah, I know. We gotta talk to him first. Excuse me, sir. Could I enlist your help? Thank you. Good, sir. Thank you. All label body men, please. Let's go. Come on, bud. We ain't got all day. 
my friend's in a suicide mission on his own. Perfect. <laughs> All right, um, Anna. I shall return. Do we have to dodge ourselves? Hopefully not. What's up, boy? Oh, he took off like a bat out of hell. I hear a throwdown happening. Huh. Well, what's up, buddy? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's tossing grenades. He's cooking them beforehand, too. Okay, um... Doggo apparently could play a key over there. You know what I think we have to do? Let him cook it? And then... Ah. Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, now, do we have to do it, or...? Yeah, yeah. I think we have to blow the one in the middle. Come, come on, coward. Throw it. Fine. Then we do it now. No, no. Oh, you know what? We blow a doggo to move the, the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now... <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, he's not dead. He's up top now. Okay, so we gotta go... Oh, you know what? We gotta pull, push him up. And then doggo... This is actually a really, really cute little boss fight. Like, the puzzle elements involved are pretty good. Oh, oh, oh it's over for you, Von Dorf. How, he still, how is he still in one piece? He's a Terminator. He never dies. Here we have a Freddy now. Zeppelin! Well, he's back for more. Okay. So now, what's the trick here? Grab him and throw him back at him, or what? It's not enough time. Oh, here's one. Okay. So apparently one of them does not actually blow up. Okay. One down. So for this one, I don't think we could probably get it over. Oh, yo boy. Or can we? Oh, boy. Oh, we have to... No, no, we can't. We cannot. Oh, that'll do it, too. So now the fan itself is gone. We need one more extra grenade. I see it. I actually see it. I need you to start tossing, though. And... Best toss ever! Man, I got an arm. I'm like, uh... World War One, Peyton Manning. Ah, he retreated again, the coward. Never dies. Oh, that was, um, Carl. Oh, jeez. This is hectic. Ooh, that's going down for good now. What are you doing here, game? Oh! Well, that was, that was chapter one, apparently. Anna was training to be a veterinarian when the war broke out. The Germans were only 20 miles from Paris when she received a letter from her father. He was in good health but implored her not to return home to Belgium until the war's end. Patience, however, was not one of Anna's strong suits. All right, so with the end of chapter one, perfect time for us to go ahead and wrap it up here for this one. Longer video, but there was a lot to be done this time around. Plus, we got some boss fights, which is actually kind of cool. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you are, keep letting me know, and I'll try to, you know, keep recording these whenever I get some downtime. If there's enough support, I'll try to squeeze them out even faster, but if not, you know, I'll just try to get one out here whenever I get some free time for us to put them on the channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'll catch you next time.